I'm Steve Leach, and I'm currently um, the David Rubenstein Chair and Director of the Rubenstein Center for Pancreatic Cancer Research at Memorial Sloan Kettering. As of September 1st, I'm going to become the Preston and Virginia Kelsey Distinguished Chair in Cancer and Director of Dartmouth's uh, Norris Cotton Comprehensive Cancer Center. I run a large research laboratory and, and, and a research center at Memor Memorial Sloan Kettering that's really um, has as its mission to improve the lives of pancreatic cancer patients through bold, innovative, and multidisciplinary research. And we choose those words intentionally. And research in my lab runs the gamut from studying the very basic biology of pancreatic cancer. What are the cells in which pancreatic cancer originate? Uh, what are the earliest events that occur as a cell becomes a malignant pancreatic cancer cell? To studying what we call the genetics and genomics of pancreatic cancer. What are the specific mutations, the specific molecular alterations? How does this cell go awry? How does it change its genome, uh, its, its, its collection of proteins, and uh, the, its metabolism to become malignant? And then, you know, how do we treat it? And so we try and integrate biology, genetics, and therapy to really um, um, pursue a broad-based attack on the disease. So I might be biased, but our pancreatic cancer research community, I think beyond a shadow of a doubt, it's the most collaborative, collegial, and mutually supportive community. Um, and it's because we all know what a difficult problem we're facing, and no one individual researcher is going to cure pancreatic cancer. This is going to be a collective effort. We urgently need um, mechanisms for earlier diagnosis, and that represents a, a huge priority in the field um, with efforts uh, being funded by NCI as well as by private sources to develop um, more sensitive screening methods for pancreatic cancer. We also need to educate patients and providers that outcomes are best in the context of clinical trials, and that's really how we're going to push the field forward. But perhaps the biggest impact um, comes with the realization that pancreatic cancer is not just one disease. So unlike many cancers where there are various molecular subtypes defined by genetics and genomics, there are at least four different recognized kinds of breast cancer, and they're all treated differently. Historically, up, up until the very present, we've treated all pancreatic cancer patients as if they're exactly alike. They all get a predominantly one of two uh, widely utilized uh, chemotherapy regimens without regard for uh, the individual genetic nuances of their disease. And so we've recently realized that pancreatic cancer is actually a collection of many different tumor types each defined by different genetics and different um, molecular features of their disease. For instance, we've just completed a clinical trial led by one of my colleagues, Eileen O'Reilly, at uh, Memorial Sloan Kettering. This was an international multi-center trial showing that a, a subset of patients, and this may be a much bigger subset of pancreatic cancer patients than we previously realized, have mutation, their tumors have mutations in the breast cancer genes. And those patients um, have dramatic responses to specific forms of chemotherapy known as DNA damaging agents, uh, different forms of chemotherapy, different uh, molecularly targeted therapies. So I lean just by this clinical trial where there was a 66% response rate amongst pancreatic cancer patients who harbor mutations in these genes traditionally associated with breast cancer. And that subpopulation of pancreatic cancer patients that may share that biology may be as high as 10 to 20 percent of all patients with pancreatic cancer. And so it's an example of how uh, dealing with subsets of patients defined by specific molecular biomarkers is going to allow us to advance the field dramatically. I think the term code purple very effectively crystallizes the urgent, emergent national public health problem that pancreatic cancer has become, but also the 
urgency that each individual patient faces upon hearing about their diagnosis in terms of rapidly accessing the very best new molecularly driven therapies that we have to offer. So I think it, it wonderfully crystallizes the sense of urgency that we all need to feel. Code Purple, demand a new approach.